Happy New Year, guys. Welcome back to another mukbang. This time we are eating loaded fries, my favorite. Yes, I'm starting off the year with loaded fries because I love it and it makes me so happy. So here we have some chicken, cheese, fries, onions. I don't have um, the red onions that I usually put in them because I just, I'm really hungry and I'm gonna eat. Though I wish I would have done them, but I didn't. It's fine, we're letting that go. We have a Coke, we have ranch, we have barbecue sauce. Oh, and then we have my little hairs, so excuse them. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much at first because... So this is um, Wingstop Ranch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so good. This is my first meal of the day. Today is Sunday. Guys, so it's been a whole month since I posted a video. Trying to get some of this cheese, onion, this green onion. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> I ate this without even smelling it to make sure that it's not like, that it's gone bad. <laughs> And you know, I think I am going to pour the ranch on on the fries because I don't know why this is so good, guys, but I love me some loaded fries. This is some barbecue sauce. All right, guys, so it's been a whole month. So many things have happened in a month. So many great things have happened in a month. Um, but most of all, we were sick. So, and when I say we, I mean my family. And I'm sure as you all know, when somebody's sick, Everybody gets sick because you live together. So we've been dealing with that. For a long time. Because I was sick once and then I got sick again. And guys, I barely ever get sick. This barbecue sauce is from BurgerFi. It's so, so good. I want to get like a big bite. Yeah, there you go. Mmm. I'm so grateful for this meal. <laughs> I wanted to post more videos in December, the month that I was out, um, but it just, it basically was impossible. So I'm so happy to be posting today. Also, I want to go through like some of my goals for this year as well as some things that I'm eliminating um, to reach my goals and um, just to let you guys know that if you are doing certain things, uh, trying to reach certain goals, you're not alone. Because when you're sacrificing things especially fun things to um, reach a certain goal 
you start to look around and see everybody else having fun and then you kind of feel like you're missing out and it's discouraging sometimes because maybe whatever goal you have is going to take longer than just a few days but I want to encourage you to know that whatever it is that you have to sacrifice at the moment to reach your goals is totally worth it and you will get to where you want to get to. So understand that it's only temporary. Whatever it is that you're missing out on, it's only temporary. Whatever it is that you don't have right now at the moment, it's only temporary temporary put in the work sacrifice what you need to sacrifice and you will see the result oh hello i know i don't have a napkin <laughs> hmm obviously i'm not a professional okay I highly recommend you get a guy coach or a therapist. To get your mind right. Mm. <laughs> or if you don't want to get either or that's fine. You just have to make a list, but be very honest with yourself of things that you're able to sacrifice in order to get to where you need to get to. Okay? Understand that everything comes from the mind. It all starts from your mind. Whatever it is that you're focusing on, whatever it is that you're constantly thinking about, that's where the energy is going to go. Your energy. It's not magic. It's nothing made up. It is just the truth. People tend to think that the law of attraction is not real but the law of attraction to me personally it's not something from out of this world it's even written in the bible where it says that if you claim something with your mouth if you're constantly thinking about something it will be done um it will happen but it's not magic It's not a supernatural gift from God. What it is is when you're constantly thinking about certain things, your actions follow. So, with that being said, let's say you want to be a YouTuber. And all you think about is being a YouTuber. That's all you think about. That's all you think about day and night. You imagine yourself being in front of the camera. You imagine yourself responding to comments. Reaching people you thought you would never be able to reach. You imagine yourself in front of a computer. Uploading videos editing them you picture yourself doing all these things and that is manifestation you're manifesting that how are you manifesting it 
you're manifesting it because if you're constantly thinking about that subconsciously you're gonna start thinking of ways on how to get there subconsciously so you don't know it's not like your mind is it's not magic whatever you're thinking about that's what you're gonna be focusing on it's like an example of like something you really want all of a sudden you see it everywhere you know, like I remember I wanted a, a specific purse and I wanted it so bad. And all I could do was think about that purse. And guess what? I started seeing that purse everywhere. Why? Because I'm focusing on it because I'm thinking about it. This is in my own words, guys. I am not a professional. <laughs> but your thoughts produce action. Okay. I listen to Brooke Castillo a lot. She's a, a life coach and she has a life coach school. I'm, I'm not trying to be a life coach, but I listen to that podcast um, and apply it to myself. And she's constantly saying it and, it and it makes sense, guys. Come on. Two plus two is four, right? You're thinking about something all the time. You're thinking about something. Think about how many moving parts are all around us, right? You want a specific car. There's a million cars, but guess what? You're going to always find the car you want because you're thinking about that car. It's not that that car wasn't there before. The car was there before, but now you're focused on it. So now you can see that car. So that is the same thing that you're going to apply to your thoughts. So if you want to become a YouTuber, think about that all the time. Think about it day and night. Write it down. Put it in a video. Talk to yourself. Do whatever you need to do. And for example, right? I have a million things to do in a day, right? But I want to get in my time where I do my affirmations. And you would think, okay, it's only a few minutes to just stop and read my affirmations. But a few minutes to me is something like I could replace that with something else. So whatever the point is, I wouldn't prioritize it. So I recorded my affirmations, me saying my own affirmations, right? So when I'm taking a shower in the morning, What I do is, I put in my AirPod. And I listen to myself talk. I listen to my own affirmations. That's what I do. So I listen to them every single day. You guys have to do what works for you. Maybe it's flashcards. Maybe it's um, writing a letter to yourself. I've done that before too. I write a letter to myself like from, like we're in January. I would write myself a letter as if it's already December 2023, looking back at the year. And then I would read that letter every single day. Whatever it is that you guys have to do to put in your own face, to put in front of your face all at all times about where you want to be and your goals, just like the vision boards, everything, all of that helps. Remember, our environment has so much to do with how we are mentally. Sorry, guys, my mom texted me. <laughs> so if you guys have goals, just put them everywhere. And when I put them, what I mean by everywhere, I'll give you more examples. Put them as the background on your phone. Put them as the background on your computer. Something that you're constantly looking at, print stuff out. Put it up. I remember when all I wanted to do was manifest money, which I'm doing again now. I had post-it notes on a whole wall full of affirmations about money. I remember growing up because I grew up in church, which if you guys don't know the story, there's some mukbang that I like share the story. Um, but they made it seem like manifesting was bad. 
And it's, I guess, from the concept of you can manifest demons or whatever the case may be. Um, but because it was linked to being bad, when somebody would mention manifesting to me, I thought, oh my God, you're trying to manifest something bad. No, I don't do that. But it's not about that. It's about just changing your mindset. It's about focusing on what you want all the time so your actions can produce the result. Thoughts, focus, action, result. I'm going to link my life coach below and um, just in case you guys are trying to make a change in your life and you guys are trying to focus on something specifically and you need help, then a life coach is what you need because it helps so much. Just with therapy someone you don't know who can be biased giving you an opinion is what some people need to step out of the box out of their own box because whatever you're seeing right now you're seeing it like from here up close when someone else that's not as close as you are can give you an opinion or just make you look at it from another angle. This is so good. Guys, I'm so sorry if I'm breathing hard. I, <laughs> I'm so sick. All right, guys, I'm done. And I think the baby's right about to wake up, so I'm right on time. I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. Make these New Year resolutions happen. I know that people are just like, oh, you shouldn't have to wait for a new year to do resolutions. Okay, whatever, just do them. It doesn't fucking, it doesn't fucking matter. People are so just like annoying. <laughs> it doesn't matter, just do it. Just do it. In the new year, the next month, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what time. The point is, a lot of people do it on New Year's. So, let's not discourage people, <laughs> okay? Just make a list of your goals and let's fucking crush them together. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. 